Ryan Clark. Good old Ryan Clark, former Pittsburgh Steeler and current NFL analyst. And who he's been doing a great job at it. Not everybody can make the transition from player to analyst and it be as smooth as Ryan Clark has done it. So kudos to him. Shout out to the pivot. Shout out to him just doing his thing. So Ryan Clark, uh, yesterday there was a report that he put out and he said the following. We went back and forth on first take yesterday about Lamar Jackson's guaranteed money. Based on a source with knowledge of the negotiations, Lamar was initially offered $113 million guaranteed. <coughs> oh, that's, that's a big yikes. That's nasty. Yuck. $113 again. But let's continue. It says, Lamar was initially offered $113 million in guarantees and eventually raised to $133 million. <laughs> That's not that high. That's not that high. But with Ryan Clark's report, and then he says that was the most Lamar Jackson was offered. So if that was true, ooh, that would be really nasty. But is it true? That's the question. Is that an accurate report? Uh, if we fast forward, um, or we'll actually go back to uh, Diana Rossini's report on uh, September 11th of 2022, she said, she said, now she had had some conflicting reports too when it came to Lamar Jackson, but she said that she had spoke with Lamar Jackson and asked if he turned down 160 mil guaranteed. He said that that isn't the exact number. She said that he said roughly between 160 and 180 mil was offered and he turned it down. And she said that she asked him, you going to ride it out all year? And he said, we'll see with a smile. So this was again, she said she spoke to him directly. That's what she's saying. So basically, <laughs> nobody knows that, that, that that's what this is all telling me. Nobody knows anything that's going on like Lamar, you know how he is super quiet, super private about everything. And he'll like throw little hints here and there stuff. He'll throw little subliminals. He'll throw little, he'll troll too. You know he will. Um, but don't nothing be coming from his side. Nothing comes from his side. And then with the Ravens, they the same way. A lot of times they'll be super quiet about stuff. Yeah, there could be a leak here, a leak there, whatnot. But they be pretty quiet on their side too. So when when two <laughs> when two private people, or two private entities, they doing business together, it's hard to get a read on. It's hard to gauge where things are, uh, because we, we we try to take stuff and we try to break it down and analyze it and whatnot. But a lot of times, hey, we we just don't know. And eventually, when when things end up. When this ends up being resolved, and like I keep saying, it can only be resolved two ways. Either Ravens sign him to a long-term deal or the Ravens trade him. Those are the only two resolutions. Those are the only ways for this to be officially done. Because if they place the franchise tag on him, well, that, that wouldn't do anything. That wouldn't resolve it. That would just extend it. So, and, and even though I do expect them to place the franchise tag on him, um, We'll see. Now, with that being said, the timing of Ryan Clark, his report, um, it was very interesting because it comes out before uh, the Ravens uh, need to place the franchise tag on Lamar Jackson. And it comes out before they decide which franchise tag they would place on Lamar Jackson, if it even gets to that point. Um, because if they do end up placing a franchise tag on him, which I think they will, they ha have to either decide whether it's going to be an exclusive franchise tag or a non-exclusive franchise tag exclusive franchise tag he can't negotiate with nobody he can't talk to nobody he can't do no deals with nobody else only ravens can non-exclusive he could talk to other teams about a deal and whatnot he could talk to other teams about what they would offer him and whatnot and they could sign him to an offer sheet and if he, he accepts it ravens could match it and if not then he could go to that new team and they would have to give the ravens two first round picks now well two for two first round picks yeah sounds great or whatever but ravens they have to know they could definitely get more uh, for Lamar Jackson than just two first round picks. Um, but, you know, teams like teams are just salivating at the thought of, oh, man, if, if, if this Ryan Clark report was accurate, which it seems like it may not be. Um, but if the report was accurate, then they'll be like, oh, man, we, we, we can't wait to top that offer. But 
you, when you think about it, um, the the wording is is where it's is tricky, because with Ryan Clark with his report, he said uh, the negotiations with Lamar. He, he Lamar was initially offered one hundred thirteen mil and guarantees, and eventually raised to one hundred thirteen mil. Now, um, the way he worded it makes it seem like it's total guarantees, but it didn't say total guarantees because you know like um there's fully guaranteed there, there's there's fully guaranteed and then there's total guarantees there's how much is guaranteed at signing there's how much is guaranteed for injury there's how much is guaranteed for this that and the third like the guarantees it, it can be broken down so many different ways um but with ryan clark it's 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 kind of vague so it's like uh yeah i don't know I don't get it. So now, if if it was actually accurate, um, and let, we'll we'll do comparisons for both. Like we'll do comparisons for Ryan Clark's report about the hundred thirty three mil guaranteed, and we'll do reports for Diana Rossini's uh, with her one hundred sixty mil guaranteed. And actually, she said that Lamar said it's between one hundred sixty and one hundred eighty mil guaranteed. That he turned down. That's what she said that he said. And I, I don't know, man. It just... I remember when the Diana Rossini report first came out. I, I remember that. And when that first came out, it, she had made it seem like... um, She had made it seem like... uh, He said it at a presser. But then... I, it, it, was, it was just really weird. But in, anyway, let's just keep going. So... Um, let's look at the other numbers, the other quarterbacks numbers, uh, who look, let's look at their total guarantee. So Deshaun Watson, number one, 230 guaranteed, 230 mil guaranteed. You know, he, that, he got that. Um, Kyler Murray is 189.5 mil in guarantees. And that's in total guarantees. Like that's all the guarantees of his contract. 189.5 mil. Russell Wilson, uh, 165 mil. Aaron Rodgers, 150.8 mil. Josh Allen, 150 mil. Patrick Mahomes, 141.5 mil, excuse me. Matthew Stafford, 130 mil. Uh, so that, so right now, right there, that's where, uh, that's where Ryan Clark, where his report would fit in. In between Patrick Mahomes guarantees and in between uh, Matt, Matt Stafford. So that would be pretty low on the list of guarantees. If that was accurate. Now, if we go back to Diana Rossini's report, the 160 to 180 mil gear and guarantees. Now, that's a lot higher because Deshaun Watson is at 230 mil, uh, 230 mil. Kyler Murray's at 189.5 mil. And then, boom, Lamar would be right there with the offer because Russell Wilson is at 165 mil and Aaron Rodgers at 150.8 mil. So that will put Lamar uh, at number three. So it's just. I mean, bottom line, <laughs> it's, it's just a mess, man. Straight up, it, it's, it's just a mess. And it's, it, we're going to continue getting different reports and stuff is going to be conflicting. But bottom line, I say all that to say this. We, we went through all that to say this. Only Lamar and the Ravens know. That's it. Only Lamar and the Ravens know. Um, this thing has just it's, it's, it's been crazy, man. And it's going to continue to be crazy. There are going to be more reports that come out. There are going to be more stories that come out. There are going to be more leaks that come out, more this, more that, and the third. It's going to be more that comes out. Um, where it's coming from? Hey, could it be the NFLPA? Like, you know, Aaron Costa, he took that shot at them the other day. So, yeah, I'm sure the NFLPA leaked something. That's like, okay, Aaron Costa, I see you now. I see you taking a shot at him. But, um, again, the only resolution, well, only resolutions is if long-term deal or trade him. Until then, this stuff like this will be the norm. So get used to it. Love y'all. We out.